Whether you're a professional installer who does this every day or a do-it-yourselfer tackling your own backyard project, or maybe you're repairing an existing fence, cutting the fence to fit your layout is something you can't avoid. There are three main methods for cutting of mesh pool fence. Trim to fit, border trim and tape, and the double molding cut. In this video, we're going to walk through how to make a cut using the best, most versatile, and strongest cut, the double molding cut. To pull this off, you'll need a few basic tools, a cordless drill, a number two Phillips if you're working with the classic fence, or a number two square drive for the ultra fence, a tape measure, a china marker, a pair of scissors, one extra molding per cut, and two three quarter inch screws per cut. Start by unscrewing and removing the molding. Trim off any extra mesh, but make sure you leave at least 8 inches. You'll need that slack to get a good grip and stretch the mesh properly. Then pull the bottom border of the mesh tightly around the pole. Use your china marker to mark the center of the pole on the bottom border and measure your mark from the previous pole. Then transfer that same measurement up to the top border so your cut will be perfectly straight. Next, take a 3 quarter inch screw and preset it into the top hole of the molding. Hold the molding in place so the top of the mesh border sits just slightly above the top of the molding and screw it into the mesh at your mark. Here's a pro tip, be careful here. Make sure the screw goes in between your fingers and not into them. Take your extra molding and put it on the back side of the mesh. Then screw the extra molding sandwiching the mesh between the moldings. Fold the slack side of the mesh over while unscrewing and then screwing through both the moldings and the folded over slack. Once the screw is all the way through, you can screw the moldings and the mesh to the pole. Then pre-drill the bottom border just above the second thread from the bottom. And then preset another 3 quarter inch screw through the bottom hole of the molding. Now with the drill in your right hand, engage the bit with the screw and push it in towards the pole. Hold the bottom border with your left hand. Use your arm between the mesh and the molding to create a slight arc in the molding. Once the screw is through the bottom border of your mark, Remove your arm from between the mesh and the molding. This will stretch the mesh tight, which helps eliminate wrinkles. Here's another pro tip. You can lift the pole partway out of the deck sleeve to give yourself better access to the bottom hole. After screwing the molding and the mesh to the pole, push the pole back into the deck and reattach the fence section. As a side note, you're using the extra 3 quarter inch screws here because of the thickness of the double moldings and the two layers of border material. The rest of your cut can be finished off with normal section screws that came with a pole. Once you've repeated this process on every cut in your layout, you should make sure that everything in your layout is connected properly at wall attachments, termination points, and gate trusses. With the fence now fully tensioned, you're ready to tighten the mesh and finish the cut. Pull the excess mesh between the poles. Start in the middle of the pole, pull the mesh tight and drive in your first screw into the middle of the molding. Then continue downward, pulling the mesh as you go. Then work your way up from the first screw. Once all the screws are in place, very carefully cut the excess mesh off with a pair of scissors. That's the double molding cut. Super strong, versatile, and effective. Be sure to check out our other two methods as well to see which one best fits your layout and skill level. 